Well, the numbers of people vaccinated across the state and the country too is increasing, but the overall trend has slowed down. This morning with the help of Nine on Your Sides, Pat Harris and the U of A's Chief of Infectious Diseases, we address vaccine hesitancy. The people who most wanted the vaccine went out and got it first. So it makes sense now that they have gotten vaccinated, that there would be some drop. Dr. Connick is referring to numbers we're seeing with our exclusive COVID mapping. The 14-day average in the state shows just over 13,000 people per day receive the first dose of the vaccine. The seven-day average went up slightly to 13,460 per day. But the number administered Tuesday in Arizona dropped to less than 8,700. A new survey by the Associated Press shows vaccine hesitancy is playing a part. Those who still hesitate have concerns about whether the vaccines have been properly tested. That's just simply not true. Um, a huge amount of money was put into testing these vaccines and huge numbers of people have received them. Dr. Connick says the data continues to show how safe and effective the vaccines are. The AP poll also showed that 61 percent of those who are hesitant worry about side effects from the vaccines. Dr. Connick says now that doctors are able to administer the vaccine, talk with your physician. I talk to all my patients about it. Some who've been hesitant, I've been able to convince to get it and, and others I haven't, but I just keep talking to them about it. Dr. Connick's advice to those trying to convince people to get vaccinated, try to understand where they're coming from and then help ease their fears. And some of them you can address easily, for example, the ridiculous false report that it affects women's fertility, that's easy to say. That's simply not true. There's no evidence of that whatsoever. Dr. Connick remains optimistic that Arizona can reach herd immunity. I'm hopeful that as people see their friends and their family, their co-workers getting vaccinated and that they're fine, that they will, they will be less and less reluctant. That was Pat Paris reporting for us. Dr. Connick is also running a study at the U of A about asymptomatic college age students. Right, it's to see if masking and social distancing are still needed for those who have been vaccinated. A link to sign up is up on our website, kega9.com.